YouTube welcome back to another video from WTFRC cars so we have a Mini Z Evo and you need the Kyosho ICS software to program these and DM Racing or Das Micro I think it is do the J030301 but basically what this is is a very cost effective USB programmer to allow you to use the Kyosho um, ICS software to program your Mini Z. And let's just say I started searching for the software and the driver, and the amount of misinformation I've seen it won't work with USB 3, it won't work on Windows 10 or 11. Um, I've seen the the original adapter won't work with the evo and it will work with evo and so i thought i'd make a video just step by step to take you through where you actually need to download not only the software but also the driver and how you go about setting it up um i mean my background is i work in it so for me the installation part wasn't difficult but my god they don't make it easy to find the correct version of software that you need because if you follow the link on kyosho's website especially for the uk one for this actual model the version of the software that it suggests doesn't actually support this although it says it's version 1.5 and it's listed for this exact model but if you try and read it'll tell you that it's not seeing the comport or the vehicle's not on or you get random weird messages um also seen a lot of places saying you need an old windows xp machine which you really don't so i'm going to take you through and show you on the very latest build of windows 11 but the actual steps to install it and the software will all be the same right from i believe windows 7 all the way up um so Hopefully, this will save you guys having the headache that I had trying to find the software. Right, so let's uh, let's start on his way down this rabbit hole because um, this was entirely too difficult to do. So, first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to set a center folder. So, uh, let's call this MR03. Evo ICS. So we've got a folder that we're going to download all this uh, stuff to. Next, we're going to want to go to our web browser, and this is the actual device you're going to buy uh, £14.20 and a bit of delivery or no free delivery. So, really didn't take very long to come. And you get the cable for updating the uh, synchro controllers, I think they are. But more importantly, you get this little uh, lead, which lets you plug it into the Evo. Um, I don't understand why the original Kyosho one is as expensive as it is, because this is really basic, cheap electronics. So, get yourself one of these purchased. Next thing we need to do is hop across to this link. Uh, which is on KO's site and we need this driver and I'll put a link to their sites but they're not the easiest to find if you just try googling these um, so I, if I remember and if I can I'll put an upload link to a Google Drive share so click on this driver it'll ask you where you want to download it so go to your desktop browse to your Evo folder and then click save so we've got that next you want to go to the Kyosho support and I'll put this link and it's a document but it's interactive so you can click click on the actual links if you go through the normal Kyosho page especially the one that's available in UK it will download a version of this software that says it's version 1.5 and it doesn't actually work it'll not read the RC um, and it'll tell you you've got a connection error it's also got a lot of the chassis options missing that this one's got so this is the version of software we're going to want for the MR03 and MA03 so we can click that one 
and if it doesn't already open to that folder you can go on your desktop go to your evo folder and we want to download that one as well so once we've got all them downloaded we can then have a look in this folder you want to right click on this and I'm doing this on Windows 11 because I've seen a few people questioning whether it works on Windows 10 and 11 so I thought do it on latest version and then you can see if it does or not so we can click extract here you will need WinRAR installed for this and it's literally just open Google search WinRAR and download it so once it's extracted we've got as drivers we've got as manuals telling you how to install it but more importantly we've got these files so then you want to open device manager now get your USB and I've also seen people saying this won't work if you've got USB 3 ports but the PC I've got has only got USB 3 ports um, so I haven't got the option of plugging it into USB 1 or 2 so just plug in your adapter and you'll see it come up with this we want to right click on it update driver and then let me browse click the folder and then basically what we're going to do is you see it's on your desktop so you're going to browse to the evo folder and then all you need to do is select the actual folder top level so make sure it's ticked to include subfolders click next that will install as driver so you see we've now got the actual driver for the USB adapter installed then under others you'll see USB serial port so again update driver browse computer and if it's not already selected you can go back desktop and then your MRO3 Evo Kyosho driver Kyosho driver just click the top level folder again leave it include subfolders click next you'll see it's now got our adapter installed and it'll disappear and this is the important part read what number it shows up as because it's not necessarily going to show up as COM port 3 if you've got other COM ports or other devices that are assigned to COM ports it'll show up as 3 on some PCs if you plug it into a different USB port it'll see it as a new adapter and it'll assign it a different COM port number but ours is showing up as 3 so we can close that we can back out of this folder and then you want your Evo manager so we can click open and this is where it opens we can select COM port 3 and you can select which RF model you have so Futaba and Flysky or the uh, I'm not sure if they're the Sanwa and the is it KO Pro then at the bottom here you've got your chassis so we've got an MRO3 Evo and next thing you're going to want to do and I'll insert a video little clip to show you how you're going to connect these in and be very careful because although it's not designed in a way that you can plug the plug in the wrong way I'm pretty sure if you forced it enough you could get it to go in there so you connect it and then power up your Evo and then we come back to the PC and we click read and it'll come up read complete not give you any weird errors or anything so basically we've got all the different settings and this has read it from the RC um, as it is a stock so we've got steering power and if you hover over any of these you get the nice little box here that tells you what it does so uh, the life batteries for the um, saver so it's basically the LVC cutout um, next one down we've got adjust the steering force so usable range might be limited depending on other parameters yeah it depends what you've got your steering set to so that's the low end force 
then that one is the steering force for if you do a big movement then we've got steering speed so if you feel your steering's too fast and you ain't got the option on your controller to slow down the servo travel then we've got punch level so what we got on this one adjust the steering response higher level quicker response I wonder if that's just controlling the amps to the steering servo to control punch uh, neutral range so what's this one for this yeah this is the dead band so if you're feeling it's too twitchy with the slightest bit of movement and you, again you haven't got the option on your transmitter you can widen or narrow the dead band uh, so what's this one changes characteristics of servo stopping control that's interesting this one I'm guessing has been useful for quite a few guys where I've seen them bind the controller and then the wheels don't turn back to centre. I'm guessing that's the one that uh, you can adjust it. Gyro presets, they're pretty self-explanatory. Um, but I do love the way whenever you hover over something it gives you the full explanation. Uh, this one, radio select mode. Uh, ESC mode, so I believe that one is just for brushless, uh, brushed motors, sorry. And then your brushless is what you'd use with the brushless motor. Reverse timing, now this is interesting, if you want it to drop into reverse quicker or slower. Uh, brake neutral, so that's the drag brake. Higher level stronger, so if you want it to slow more as you let off the throttle before you brake. Um, adjust characteristics for higher value for stronger acceleration then we've got what's this curve control flat minus or plus maybe like expo possibly I'll have to read up more on what all these do um, then we've got a punch setting I uh, believe this one is what you use to, if you watch the light when it comes on full, it's telling you it full throttle, so I'm guessing you can adjust that. Maximum RPM of motor, LED turns blue at default value. And then again, neutral range, same as your dead band for your steering. So you can play around with any of these that you like. Um, one thing that I would advise doing is before you change anything, you've read it from your car and then save it so we can go to desktop we can go to Evo and then you can call this whatever you want a stock it's default but you've got to leave the dot ICS so we save that and then you'll see it's given us a uh, default settings so if you ever mess any of these up you can change it back so say we want to run it on the uh, life batteries or LIFE you can change that and that will make the little green light come on on here to tell you that it's running in that mode and then all you need to do is click right and as easy as that it's ripped back to your RC uh, I don't want that on so I'm going to turn it off and I'm going to write it so it should be off and then you can literally just unconnect your RC um, if you'd messed all these settings up chronically so you don't know what any of them are you can then go to load you can click on your defaults it just loads them all back up to standard which is really useful to have um, obviously the setting there for the MA03 and that works exactly the same but uh, I thought I'd do this video because it is way too complicated why on earth all these drivers and software aren't in one download file is beyond me um, but what I think I'll do is probably zip these into one file and put them on Google Drive on share save you having to go to various different places to download them it is usually better off making sure you've got the latest version which is why I'm going to include the original links to the original sites um, but that should be about it and then all you have to do is power off your little Evo um, disconnect it and then when you power it up all your settings are whatever you've decided you want on here hopefully you find that useful but uh, 
thanks for bearing with me on that one and let's wrap this one up right so hopefully you find that uh, useful or enlightening um, and I'll pop all the links in the video description um, to save you pulling your hair out and ending up as bald as me just trying to program your mini Z which kind of rhymed didn't mean to anyway um, so yeah just be careful with the plug it does go in with the red to the front of the vehicle um, and don't force it in you've only got tiny little pins in there um, when you connect it to your PC make sure all the lead and everything's plugged in first you do need to check your COM port number but make sure it's all plugged in first and the vehicle's off start your um, software and then turn the vehicle on and then click read or write depending on what you're trying to do to it and it should all work fine for you so make sure the device is in the pc make sure your com port's set and everything open the software plug in your mini z turn on your mini z and then you should be good to go it should read write and then power off your mini z disconnect the adapter leave it plugged into pc and job done you should have a fully functioning mini z where you can change all your steering parameters your throttle behavior um change it to run off uh, lifey batteries or life whichever way you want to pronounce it um but yeah it's a very useful bit of software and i think the das micro programmer although it don't look pretty for less than 15 quid but absolute bargain um but hopefully you find that useful entertaining and uh Catch you guys again in the next one.